The war against Daenerys Targaryen ended sooner than anyone had expected. As King Renly and his brothers-in-law Garlan and Loras Tyrell assembled the largest army Westeros had ever seen in King's Landing, brave Lord Reynald II Westerling seized the initiative. He assembled an army of around 15,000 Westerlander and Stormlander loyalists and sailed to Slaver's Bay in a counter-invasion. The Dragon Queen, who was still at her castle in the no-man's land between Yunkai and Marine to coordinate their forces, was taken completely by surprise and did not have her dragons by her side. The castle soon fell and Daenerys was taken to the other side of the world, Lord Reynald's castle of the Crag in the far north of the Westerlands. The war had ended with a single epic act of bravery and bravado and King Renly would not forget it. Daenerys was executed unceremoniously, leaving behind two small children, Aenar Targaryen and Diella Fire, the latter a bastard of House Frey. Queen Marjorie's madness had progressed even further, but her ambition and cunning had remained. Lord Paramount Eustace Tyrell, Marjorie's nephew, sat on the throne of High Garden, and Marjorie had assembled a motley crew of crown loyalists, dissatisfied richmen, and sellsword opportunists to try to oust her nephew from her ancestral seat, taking the reach for herself. Needless to say, this harebrained scheme did not work, and after a short war, Lord Paramount Eustace was able to capture his aunt. Not wishing to upset the crown, he released Marjorie against a symbolic ransom, with the tacit understanding that Renly would not punish him for his inaction in the war. But not before Marjorie had spent several months in the Reach's darkest dungeon, and had even given birth there to a stillborn babe. Two of Daenerys' three dragons were tamed. Pureborn Methiso of Karth used the magic of his city's warlocks to tame Rhaegal, giving the desert city a distinct advantage against his enemies, not to mention giving himself an advantage over his fellow Pureborn. Drogon, the largest of Daenerys' three dragons, was tamed by a noblewoman by the name of Rhaenys Atroxiaris, who took advantage of her blood her family being one of the last remaining houses of old Valyria. The quick war against Daenerys was bad news for Lord Edric Shield of the Westerlands. The bastard son of Robert Baratheon, Edric had wished to use a weakened crown to press his claim to the Iron Throne. He had already secured the support of Lord Benjen II Karstark of the North and Lord Doran Martell of Dorne. And after cajoling the weak-willed Lord Robert Arryn of the Vale into his faction as well, he judged that he was strong enough, even without the Targaryen distraction, to declare war on King Renly. He judged poorly. Renly had ensured the support of Lord Robin Tully of the Trident and Lord Theon Greyjoy of the Iron Islands, and despite being outnumbered overall, his army, under Garland Tyrell, was mobilized much quicker than the armies of his enemies. Moving quickly to capture Edric's shield in Casterly Rock, the army instead ran into Edric's army camp in Deep Den. Edric's vessels had not all arrived at the camp yet, but as luck would have it, Edric himself had. In a similarly unexpected stroke of good luck, reminiscent of the war against the nearest Targaryen, uh, Renly's army was able to surround the camp and imprison Lord Edric's shield, once more ending an existential threat with a single, bold and decisive act. The aftermath of the Bastards' Rebellion would change the political situation drastically. The Martells of Dorne were punished through the trial of Lady Ariane, the heir to Dorne Martell, who was sent to the Silent Sisters. But the Martells were otherwise allowed to keep their land. Lord Paramount Benjen II Karstark was forced to forfeit the Lord Paramountcy of the North, which Renly granted to Rickon Stark, Ned Stark's last surviving son. The cruel, wrathful, arbitrary Rickon was not a popular man, but he was the rightful heir to the North and had a better claim than Benjen II had ever had so most northern lords accepted him, as they had no particular love for the Karstarks in any case. Benjen II did evade execution by demanding a trial by combat, which he won against all odds. The Westerlands were granted to Lord Reynald of the Crag, the man who had, through his bravery and bravado, ended the war against Daenerys, much quicker than anticipated. Renly also wished to revoke the Lord Paramountcy of the Vale from Robin Arryn, but this was not accomplished peaceably. Still, the armies of the Vale were no match for the veteran armies of the Crown, and with most of his troops wiped out and the Eyrie under siege, Lord Robin surrendered. King Renly had lost his patience, and rather than show mercy, 
he pushed Robin through the moon door. The veil was given to Renly's most trusted advisor and hand of the king, Sir Olimar Risley. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jejo Gaming. Oh, welcome back to your boy, King Renly, the beautiful. Uh, let me turn up the volume just a bit. Yeah, King Renly, the beautiful. Uh, last episode, we were uh, confronted by two seemingly quite existential threats that ended up being <laughs> quite easy to deal with. Uh, in the east, we had uh, Daenerys Targaryen, who is now uh, gone from this world. Uh, she uh, no longer rules Marine. I don't know who rules No Man's Land right now. Ah, Einar Targaryen, right, right, right. So this is uh, this is Daenerys' son. Uh, he is still in charge of uh, what uh, what what little land remains. He still has a strong claim on the Kingdom of the Iron Throne. So we might have might not have heard the last of the Targaryens, but uh, that, that would be a bit anticlimactic if we would have, because uh, we defeated Daenerys quite easily. And in the west, we had uh, Lord Edric Shield. The former Lord of the Westerlands, who has now been replaced by our boy, Reynald II. The brave man who uh, sailed over to Slaver's Bay to capture Daenerys. Um, I don't know why I'm doing the recap. You already saw the recap, right? <laughs> but uh, let's just have a quick look at uh, at our boy. We, uh, we executed him, we beheaded him after uh, nearly 20 years of ruling the, uh, the Westerlands. And if he have, would have been loyal, uh, we would have... Let him rule the Westerlands for the rest of his life, but he wasn't loyal. Um, so, we ended the episode on a bit of a bummer, because uh, my brother Stennis has the C word, the big C, cancer. Uh, yeah, call for a physician at once. Yeah, okay. That's fine, right? Tribal. Mm. <laughs> oh, he is in the... He's no longer at the wall, I guess. No, he's no longer in the Night's Watch. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I guess he was uh, disinherited. I get a deserter. Yeah, he deserted the nice watch. Wow, it doesn't sound like Stennis. <laughs> but he's a man who takes his oath loyalty. His, his oath. 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 <laughs> I talked about this before on this channel, but the TH sound for us, us Dutch people is very difficult. Eh? So, betrothed. Oaths. 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 He, um, he takes his oaths seriously. <laughs> Was that close? I don't know. Um, yeah, but apparently he did desert. Uh, maybe he um, he thinks that his um, his rightful claim to the Iron Throne is uh, is more important than uh, his his, uh, his legacy as a brother of the Night's Watch, which uh, which after all we forced upon him. All right, uh, let's continue. Ah, my wound has finally healed. Great. We are scarred. Our wife didn't uh, manage to grab the uh, the reach last episode. Uh, do I hereby relinquish, relinquish my position as Lord Paramount of the North in favor of Lord Benji Carstar? Really? Really? <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> Benjen, uh, we, um, we gave him a... He betrayed us. He was in the, the same rebellion as uh, Lord Edric, but uh, he, uh, he betrayed us. And... Uh, yeah, we, we he did a trial by combat and he won that, so we released him. But I didn't expect him to <laughs> immediately uh, become Lord Paramount again. But okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, we better start swaying him. Then. Yeah, put me in the Ubilet, Ubilet, guys. Okay, well, let's, let's sway him then, I guess. I guess. Oh, duel. We can duel him. Should we do that? That sounds like fun, right? We should be able to beat him, despite being craven. We do have Heart Eater, which is a Valyrian Steel Sword, I think. Is it? Uh, no, I guess not, but it is, it is a pretty strong sword. And we have Valyrian Steel Armor. Yeah, we should duel him. We should duel him. Screw him, Benjen. Screw you, Benjen Karstark. Gonna duel you. Uh, okay, he's old, so some people will think it's important taste, but he's almost as old as me. There's only five years difference. Screw you, Benjen. Duel. Yes. Come on. Ah, he has refused my challenge. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. You old man. You old bastard. <laughs> you somehow weaseled your way back into the north, and now I, I guess I lost this duchy. Yeah, Rickon Stark. He is still... Uh, he still rules uh, rules, as, rules as, a, as a duke, but is no longer uh, the Lord Paramount of the North. This guy wants to join me. Nah. Sir Hoster. 
I don't want to pay uh, 50 gold for you. You have quite a bit of money, actually. Can we do, do, do something with that? Maybe like forge a sword or something? Go on a tour. That's quite fun. Warden of the East. Uh, yeah, Olimar of the Vale. Um, how is the defection uh, situation right now? Now you have quite a few people who want to be uh, independent. Lord Paramount Theon and Lord Paramount Benjen. We have two people who have lower crown authority. Why does Theon hate me? I pointed the lowborn to the king's right, did I? Is that not allowed? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> um, maybe we should not go on a tour yet. Maybe we should try to butter up our vessels a little bit. Maybe have uh, like a nice, uh, nice feast. Yeah. Let's have a feast. Uh, I humbly ask you to let you be, be, uh, intervene on behalf of my Lord Paramount Robin Tully. No. This is a car star, but it's a different car star, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Warden title, Warden of the West, yep. Lord of the West, Reynald, of course. My buddy. He's not a Crown Loyalist, I guess. Oh, yes, he is a Crown Loyalist, okay. Why is uh, Olimar not a Crown Loyalist? My man. Why are you not a Crown Loyalist? We, we gave you everything, man. Leftly on food, yeah. Most of these preparations. Let's uh, let's just invite. Okay, Theon doesn't want to come. Eustace doesn't want to come. I don't want to know why he hates me. And rightfully removed the counselor. I'll screw you guys. I didn't remove anybody. It's just uh, that's just a bug, I think. Uh, okay, I should invite my friends here. Sure, of course. Alice of the King's Guard. Yep, some entertainment would be nice. Let's just hold a big feast and uh, placate our vessels a bit. Uh, one cynical comment after another. Okay, this guy is cynical. Ormond Florent. Okay, welcome to my feast, everybody. Uh, oh, my friend never showed up. Okay. He's, uh, he's allowed to. He's allowed to not show up. Lord Commander Lord Sterell has used his, used his attendance of the feast in King's Landing to present a petition for justice before the court. He claims that Brienne Tart is one of, the, one of his kinsmen murdered. Uh, no, because we already we already did this. Brienne is clearly not guilty. Lord Jeffer Haita, we already already did this in the um, the Grand Tourney a couple of years ago. We uh, we put Brienne of Tart on trial, so we don't want to. Uh, what's that called? It's like a legal term. You prosecute someone for the, for the same crime twice. Uh, I don't know what what what, that, what that's called. We don't we don't want to we don't want to commit that. Summer is nearly at an end, so autumn and the harvest is upon us. The feasting shall celebrate. The feasting shall celebrate this time with food from throughout the Iron Throne. Including boar, goose, and berries, salmon, lobster, and broad king's landing. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's put a big uh, a big portion aside. The feasting has begun, and the endless courses you ordered are impressing the guests. As is the pie again, yeah. Sweetly, gently, we molded our bodies together and recreated the familiar feel of us embracing, touching, loving. Yeah, I think. I think Renly, in his old age, he's uh, oof. Twenty percent, twenty percent chance of dying. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch, familiar Kinsley, yeah, we killed, um, oh, maybe that's why all my vessels hate me, we killed, uh, we killed Edric, uh, Edric, Edric Shield, who is our nephew. Uh, sweetly, gently, okay, but, okay, but I guess uh, what, what I was going to say is I think uh, Renly is starting to become a bit, a bit bisexual in his, uh, <laughs> in his later years, because we already had, uh, had that bastard a couple of years ago, 15 years ago, Sir Herrick Waters, he's the bastard of me and a red priest. And now we are uh, we are clearly enjoying uh, our special time with uh, Queen Marjorie, despite us still being homosexual. Please don't die. Oh, twenty percent chance, eh? <laughs> we died at age forty-five. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, okay, well, um, Renly did have a nice her uh, legacy, I think. He united the Iron Throne. He fought off his enemies one by one. Uh, he ruled over quite some years of, uh, of peace. I think he will be known as uh, Good King Renly by the small folk. Uh, let's see if his, uh, his son, Robert, will be able to follow in his dad's footsteps. He's uh, not as likable as his dad. Uh, he's cruel, stubborn, ambitious, wrathful, gluttonous, cynical. Hmm. All right, so he's a very different character from Renly. All righty. We have Prince Oris, uh, who has a hair lip, who is our, our, our heir. Alrighty. Um, kill Sir Edmund Will. No, no, no. Stop that. Improve combat ability. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go for war focus, right? Yeah, because I, I want to improve from a dutiful commander. I want to be at least a skilled tactician. 
Well, let's do that. All right. Uh, guilty of the most heinous crime. Renly will be forever known as a Ginslayer. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> it was just a bastard boy, man. Uh, Queen uh, Marjorie, Lady Marjorie is, uh, is still at our court. My mother, wearing black now because she's mourning. Renly, in the end, I mean, I feel like uh, he ruled as king for like 50 years, but it was only like... Uh, how long? Uh, around 20 years, yeah. Oh well. Um, yep. Uh, King Robert II, a renowned man, dignitaries from far and wide, will surely bow before him. Okay, I guess because we have quite a bit of prestige. Alrighty. Edric Baratheon. Some of my sons are pretenders, that's fine. Removing Sir Parm and Crane from the council, I didn't remove anybody. Your Grace, his king, his Grace King Renly has taken his last breath. May he re repose in peace. Now his heir, Lord Paramount Robert Baratheon, will take the throne and will rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. Only have the king, yes. Prince Oris is my new heir. Great. Uh, my father deserves to be honored with a funeral, yes. All the Court of King's Landing. All the Lords and Ladies of the Realm are invited, yes. We're going to have to, right? We uh, we owe it to our uh, our standing. Let's, uh, let's loan some money from uh, the Ancient Bank of Karth. Uh, yeah. Uh, we will re we will invite everybody for the uh, the funeral of our uh, our brave dad, uh, King Renly. Ah, oh, we love our wife. That's nice. How old is she? Eight twenty-eight. Okay, that's not that's not too old. She still has a few uh, few years of uh, fertility in her. She's she's a nice nice woman. Yeah. Let's uh, let's uh, start appointing the uh, the council. Okay, you guys don't like me. Broken betrothal. No, I didn't. Did I? No, oh, okay, okay, whatever. I guess it's unrelated. Uh, Dora Martel can remain my master of coin. Lord Paramount uh, Olimar of the Vale can remain my hand of the king. That's fine. Lord Olimar the Fat is the law uh, guy. Yeah, he, he can remain as such. Olimar the Fat of Kingswood. Alrighty. Bauman the Chaste is my marshal. Surely we have a better guy. Yeah. Rival, really? You're my rival, my man? Jewel. Well, that's not Jewel, Loris Tyrell. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> Why are you my rival? Maybe because we tried to kill uh, a Garland Tyrell. He can be my uh, my master at arms. That's uh, completely fine. He's a great uh, warrior, man. Lord Garland, you can uh, train children. Sure. Master of Whispers, Lothar Frey. Yeah, that's fine. He's been our uh, a servant under our dad for quite some time. <coughs> He's been Master of Whisperers of the Iron Throne for uh, a long time. Uh, we have a Maester, who we're probably going to be sent one. Septon. Let's, uh, let's, let's just find a nice Septon. Uh, okay. A great Septon. Oh, this guy's a 30... 30 skill Septon, and he's just, uh, he's just here. That's fine. Great. Alrighty. Um, yeah, we need to be crowned, but let's... Uh, Let's have the funeral for my dad first. Your grace, the conclave has selected Grand Maester Desmond. That's my new maester. That's fine. Great. Welcome. Welcome, my maester. Mystery boy. We have Septon Joffrey joining me. Great. Fantastic. Alrighty. Let's uh, perform some charity. Guest will arrive soon. Yes. Gonna hold uh, a great feast. Again. Hopefully that will... Uh, a piece, uh, some of uh, some of my vessels a little bit. Let the feasting commence. Okay, some guy has threatened another guy. I don't care. I enjoyed Lady Samantha's company, and we talked in the garden for several hours until we both fell asleep. Maybe because of all that wine we drank. Lady Samantha is my best friend. <coughs> Alrighty, very nice. This woman is my friend, Samantha Appleton. Where's she from? She's from the Reach. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Great. Okay. Uh, Maester Walter uh, has, pet has uh, done, a done a petition. He claims that Sir Robert Sarsfield is one of his kings kinsmen murdered. This guy, yeah, looks like he has. He's dishonorable. Let's arrest him. Yep, he's in my dungeon. Lord Raynor. Is this Raynor? Uh, oh, there's a different Raynor. Lord Loghain Burney has used his attendance of the, uh, to present uh, illicit relations with his wife. Okay, in that case, fine is fine. We will sell you into slavery. What? Is slavery legal? No, it's not. 
it's not legal at all. <laughs> but I guess we can sell this guy into slavery. Why is that? I guess probably because we're cruel. Yeah, probably. Let's call him for trial. Now we're cruel, right? Fuck him. Let's kill him. Execute. Tyranny increases by five. Okay, in that case we won't, I guess. Uh, mutilate. Blind. Nah, let's call him for trial first, right? We can always murder him afterwards. So Parman spoke up. Great. That was well spoken. Thank you. Uh, this guy is uh, interrogating this guy. Uh, he made a reasonable case. Guilty. Yep. I have his head on the spike. Uh, I want him crushed to death. Yeah, sounds good. I'm cruel, right? <laughs> I believe that one of your vessels <coughs> can be discouraged from joining a faction. Benjamin the second. Alrighty. Um, blackmail or obligate? He's honorable, so let's obligate him. The funeral. As the Silent Sisters finish the preparation of the deceased, the body of King Renly is brought to the local set and laid atop the altar at its center. Canopic jars of ornate design are placed at the feet of the dead, and the eldest child places the death stones upon the closed eyes of the, dece of the deceased. Yeah, that's in the Game of Thrones. One by one, those closer to the departed in life make their way into the set and speak their goodbyes, shed their mournful tears, and pray to the seven for the dead. As the day winds winds down and the last goodbye is set, the body is carried by kin along the crowd-lined streets to its final resting place. As the sun fades away, a great feast is held, and those who knew the dead recount stories of the life and the deeds of the lost. Alrighty. Uh, with little likes or dislikes, who just lives, he lived each day as he came, as well as being most fair to look upon Akaban. Merely a competent, competent swordsman, yeah, that makes sense. And so it is done. Uh, okay, uh, he promises to not associate with faction. So that's that's actually good because I think he was in a faction. Yeah, it looks like my vessels are uh, are not uh, Lord Einar for the Iron Throne. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is Einar Targaryen. All right, my vessel, Lord Paramount Robin Tully, has requested that Sir Pytho Galeros of Fieldstone should be sworn to him rather than me directly. Uh, probably you're right. Where is Fieldstone? Over there. Yeah, that's uh, you have a point. Ah, all right. That was that was fast. We're already a skilled commander. Very nice. Okay, we're actually a pretty pretty nice uh, martial character. We really do need to uh, upgrade our uh, our fighting skill a little bit. Uh, I want to I want to become a nice uh, a good warrior. Maybe we will hold a tourney at some point. We need a coronation ceremony first. Uh, we can shut the gates. Why would we? Oh, there's a disease raging. What kind of disease? Bloody flux. Bloody flux has broken out of the King's Landing. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's close the gates. See you at. Winter is coming. But we have quite uh, quite a few, uh, quite a good, yeah, large winter reserve, so we should be fine. Prince Doran likes me a bit better. Nice. Uh, unaware of others hearing them, so Lothar the Lame have been sneaking around the premises with intimate encounters. Few seem amused by their indiscretion. This ends now. Oh, I, I, I'm fine with it. I don't know why she would want uh, to have sex with this 57-year-old uh, fat man, but fine. Oh, we have to uh, we have to change our, our, our role-playing style a little bit, because this guy is a bit of a dick. <laughs> Renly was a much more likable man. Not this guy, though. Robert II, Baratheon. Let's wait out the disease. We need a new member of the Kingsguard. Loris is, uh, is proposing Tom and Piper, but... I want kind of a better better guy. Who died then? Oh, uh, Damon Darkholm. Right, right, right. We didn't know who he was, right? He didn't have a, a wiki page. Oh, he died of the bloody flux. Okay. Uh, let's find somebody. Poor mi <coughs> middle fighter. Damon Cox is a formidable fighter, I guess. But he's married. We have to have married. No. Bernard Forrester. He's terrible. Oh, he's, he's cancer. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. Uh, so then we will go for the next tier, which is skilled fighter strong. Well, the Duckfield's already in the King's Guard. Edric Mormont, but he is um, he is not uh, of favor to seven, and people don't like that. Let's just say my religion. Boba Roy's already in the King's Guard. Lothar Brune, but he's not that great. Alice is already in the King's Guard. Rory Falcon. Okay, well, I guess, uh, I guess, I guess you, you will do, my man. 
Uh, appoint to King's Guard. Hello. Great. Welcome. So Rory Falcon to the King's Guard. Who is in, our, in my King's Guard, actually? Let's have a look at that. The White Book. Uh, here we go. Good members, Sir, 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 Sir Loris. Sir Balan Swan, Sir Roe by the Red Royce. Balan Swan has been in with us for, from the start. I guess he's getting pretty old. Only 53, huh? Holy Duckfield. Loris is also getting up there, I think. Yeah, he's in his 40s now. All right. Notable past Lord Commander is Kristen. Kristen Cole, the Kingmaker. And, okay. Don't know why he's the Kingmaker. Known to be the most courageous. Yeah, the other. Who respected. I guess maybe he was in uh, in Renly's, uh, Renly's King's Guard. When we, when we took, th took the throne. That could be. And it's time for me to choose how I want to educate my son, Oris Baratheon. Um, mm, good with numbers. Good for command, educated at court. Um, yeah, good for command. High as uh, the best equipment possible. Yes, definitely. Let's find a, a suitable guardian for you. Could do Laura Tyrell, I guess. Yeah, he hates me, but I don't care. You probably did not hate my son. King Robert the Young has inherited High Lordship of Blackwater Rush. Okay, interesting. We inherited uh, a duchy. Uh, shall we revert to the king? Or we can give it to his widow. Voldwa Waters, I guess. Oh no, um, this woman. Leonetta Dargood. I mean, I'm cruel, right? So screw you. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Rainis Atroxiaris has arrived at your court. Okay, she, she is a dragon rider, right? Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you doing here, Rainis? What are you doing here? You're 49 years old? Can we grant you some land? No, I guess not. <laughs> Alright, so Drogon is here. Alright, court in no man's land. I guess she's not here. He's not here. She's at the, at, at keep, at the keep in uh, King's Landing. Heavy food, mounted warriors. Uh, mounted warriors, yeah. I still want to improve my combat skill, though. Squire Lucerius Valerion. Valerion has become a man grown. Yeah, the idea he wants to become a knight. Fine. Knighthood. Great. Ooh, we should have made him our king's guard. He's great. Look at him. He's a formidable fighter. Hmm. Yeah, okay. He's, he's not... Um, he's not uh, fitted to seven. Otherwise, I would have made him my... Uh, the guardian of my... Uh, uh, of my son. A little more of the Vils transferred Vassalage of Gold Tower to somebody. Fine. I think we will keep the Stormlands for now under us. Olimar Risley. Great. Good going, Olimar. My Hand of the King. You have a son yet? Yeah, only one though. Gals of the Vale. Guardian is this man. Yeah, that's fine. And our Royce. Drogon has arrived at your court. <laughs> Can we... Uh, oh, no, he's... Okay, so he has, he has a dragon rider. Uh, Rainies. So we have... we have uh, Finally, we have... We have a dragon in the dragon pit again. The dragon pit is here, right? Alchemist Guild. There is it. Here, dragon pit. Taming chance, hatching chance. Okay, great. Size growth is a bit less. Usually prevents dragons flying away to volcanoes upon their owner's death. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So if we... If we kill the Dragon Rider, then, then probably uh, Drogon will remain in King's Landing and we can try to tame him. But I don't really feel strong enough for that at the moment. I want to uh, increase my combat skill a little bit. Uh, coronation Ceremony, yeah, we want to do that soon. But I think we need at least 300 for an extravagant one. So let's wait for that. We also need to repay our loan at some point. Don't know when. Vicious Rumors... Are Two times minus ten general opinion. Come on, man. Perfection. Prince Stefan for the Iron Throne. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we, we, we're getting a bunch of very nasty modifiers. I do hope that uh, that, it, that the faction won't uh, won't grow too much. I hope we can pry at least uh, Sir Olimar off it. Can we make him our designated regent? Paramount Knight. Here you go. Please don't join that faction, my man. Why do you guys hate me all so much? I think I know, but minus 89 is a bit much. 
Too many health high lordships. Okay, we can do something about that. Air educated with foreign culture, really? You care about that uh, as well? Proper culture, no. Okay. What would my air educated as? What? As Reachman. Okay. I mean, that's fine, right? Air educated with foreign culture. Well, if I educate him as Stormlander, it's fine, or what? We can do that, I guess. If that's a minus 10 opinion uh, malice, then that's worth it. Mm. Reachman, Reachman, Stormlander. I can educate him myself. Let's keep him with Loras for now. Uh, this guy threatened to ask politely. Very good. Okay, he is removed from the faction. That's great, actually. Because that, uh, that really, uh, really lowers the... Uh, the, uh, the 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 strength of this faction. Uh, oof, everybody hates me, yeah. Eradicated with foreign culture. Ben of the commonest vicious rumors. Those will go away by themselves. At some point. Ben of the commoners quite soon, actually. So that's that's uh, that's a big help. Uh, do we also have too many health high lordships? We do. Uh, we have right. We can do something about that as well. Yeah. Uh, we have the High Lordship of Shipbreaker Bay and the High Lordship of King's Landing and the High Lordship of Blackwater Rush. Um, mm -hmm. Now we should move the uh, Crown uh, Focus, actually. We can give away uh, Blackwater Rush, I guess. Uh, who should we give it to? Lothar Frey, maybe? Our Master of Whispers? He's been helping us, uh, helping us out quite a bit. I think he deserves it. Uh, Lord, uh, Lordship of Mosbra. Mosbra. There you go. Lord Lothar. Enjoy. Uh, some of your kin are unhappy that you granted it to Lothar Frey as they were expecting it for themselves. Yeah, I guess we could have given it to one of our kinsmen. But screw him. <laughs> nah, actually, we should have done that probably. Ah, maybe next time. All right, I think it's time for our coronation ceremony, yes. I Septon, please crown me. Uh, Lord Mormon is... Uh, he wants to be the king of the Stormlands. Nope. Marvelous. Yes. Extravagant ceremony. Yes, please. All right. We're going to get crowned. Uh, everybody still hates me, so I, I think we got a revolt coming. Very soon, because everybody hates me. <laughs> I've invited people in my court to take part in a war game. Great. What is happening now? Why is he not crowning me? Expires on... Uh, the enemy decides to do a strong front, uh, frontal assault. Okay, we will slowly withdraw our forces. Uh, I decide to push the center flank hard. Hard. Yeah, we will... Uh, uh, fold the side flanks around him. Good game. Okay, we uh, increased our uh, strategic ability a bit. That's so annoying. Okay, we <laughs> we, uh, we 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 uh, we 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 hired the vessel to crown us. Then he died, and then we had to wait and organize a new crowning ceremony. So we now lost another two hundred and fifty gold. It's very very annoying. Okay, well whatever. We're gonna have the crowning ceremony anyway. We're going to be like Robert, I guess, because we already spent like 700 gold. Uh, it will never be soon enough. No, indeed. Please crown me. Oh, uh, approach me tonight to personally inform me of how satisfied he is with the great month of festivity I have uh, organized. Okay. Uh, later this evening, as the servers were clearing up our tables. Oh, Catelyn Tully died. I missed that. 860. Okay, I guess we didn't really hear from her much. But uh, now she died. Okay. Um... Said to talk to me, I will be sworn to care for the secular needs of all my subjects as well as to stand against the tide of sin and heresy besieging our world. Let's talk about the details. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. We can talk about those details. That's fine. I'm finally and truly king. Great, finally. We are crowned king. Hopefully, that will uh, soothe some of our vessels a bit. No, they still all hate me, yeah? Everybody hates me. 
Okay, not everybody. Well, most people. <laughs> wow. Okay. Jesus Christ. I don't know why everybody hates me so much. <laughs> oh, well. I'm a tyrant and cruel. And I have a foreign religion and lack of funds. Okay. Fine. Okay. Bring on the revolt, I guess. <laughs> Let's wait until we are out of out of death, and then we will end the episode, I think. And I really hope that uh, Robert II will be able to hold on to his very, very tenuous rule. Because that's what it is. We lost our Master of Laws. Okay. Olimar. Okay, we didn't really know him. Uh, we can have Reynald, I guess. Yeah, Reynald Westerling. Let's make a friend, right? Yeah, Reynald the, uh, the Brave is now our, our Master of Laws. Very nice. We do want to uh, to have some friends. We can have Loris. No, he hates me. Robin we could uh, do, I guess. Robin Tully is also 21 Marshall. He's a bit better to uh, to appease him than uh, than than, uh, than uh, the previous guy. My wife Loretta is pregnant. Okay, that's good news, I guess. Some good news, at, at least. At least my factions are not that strong yet. Uh, outstanding. Okay. Oh, that's okay. We that 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 that, um, that put us out of debt. Okay, and then we uh, we end on uh, an attack on the wall. I guess it's probably still Man's Raider, right? Is he still in charge? No, it's an Ar Aragger Hornblower. Alrighty, alrighty. We will uh, we will ride north at dawn. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, it was a bit of a messy episode. We uh, we lost Renly. We tried to uh, reinstate our council, and we now have. Uh, the new uh, king of the Iron Throne, Lord Robert II, who uh, it takes some getting used to him. He's a very different person from Renly. Very unlikable, very stubborn, ambitious, wrathful, gluttonous, cruel. Um, he's trying to cement his reign, and people really don't like him. <laughs> so let's see if we will be able to, uh, to to keep our lands, let's say, to, 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 to keep the Iron Throne. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, oh yeah, but before I forget... Um, I think probably on Saturday there will be an episode, but maybe not on Sunday, because I have my weekend uh, quite full. And these episodes take quite a, quite a bit of time to edit, uh, because I also have to make the, uh, the recaps, which alone take like an hour and a half or two hours to make. And then I have to edit the episode, which takes another two hours, so I really need quite a bit of time for it. Uh, and I, I, I'm not, not sure if this weekend I will have enough time to, uh, to edit the whole episode. So probably Sunday there won't be an episode. So uh, Saturday there will be, so I'll see you, see you guys then. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,